iOS 26 Beta 3 has recently been released and it brings of course new features and changes to iOS 26. Now there will be a lot of new features and changes that will be discovered this week as we basically take a dive in this update but the major one is of course the reduction of the liquid glass design effect that Apple has made throughout iOS 26. But of course there are other features that we need to talk about and in this video I will show you guys about 15 new hidden features and changes that you will be able to find on the new iOS 26 beta 3. And the first one has to do with the app switcher. With this beta when you're within an app and you go to the app switcher you will notice a new behavior here. So if I just go to the app switcher you can see what it does. It will basically pull up and the first page here will be the current app. Now previously what it would do basically when you go to the app switcher it would just go like this so it will just like center to the left here to the right actually so you would see something like this. Now when you get out of the app and you go to the app switcher that app that you're currently in will be in the center of the app switcher. And an amazing change here on the home screen you can see I have hidden icons and they have now that liquid glass effect it looks really really awesome so it's basically much more pronounced with this update and just try it out if you have a device updated to the third beta of iOS 26 you will notice the liquid glass design combined with the tint of the icons it looks really stunning now when it comes to the liquid glass we have changes throughout iOS 26 beta 3 and you will notice here on the music app App, you will notice this right here it has a different shade basically they have removed a lot of the liquid glass design effect right here on the bars that we see at the bottom it's now of course much easier to actually see things through this new design but of course the really really cool liquid glass design that we had especially on the first beta has basically just toned down a lot and it now it basically looks like fro frosted glass not like the liquid glass design. Now on the music app here we also have new designs for the buttons when you swipe on different songs that you have on your albums or playlists. So you can see right here playing next and right here the delete button will have a new design. This will also be different for the queue and also different for the downloads if you're using Apple Music. But now they have a really cool new design that I actually really like and it looks really nice with the like the rounded like shapes that we have with iOS 26. And overall through iOS 26 beta 3 the liquid glass design is now much darker even on the notifications and on the different UI elements that you see it's now much clearer to read the text that you're seeing on these buttons and notifications and all that even the control center has now way more blur it's actually really easy now to see things it's really clear but of course that really cool liquid glass design has actually been removed a lot in a lot of different things, a lot of UI elements throughout iOS 26 beta 3. We also have updated icons. There is a change here on the Photos app icon. It now is much brighter and that like kind of blur effect that it has has actually been removed. It looks much clearer now. And we also have another change for the files app this actually had of course a new icon with beta 1 it had been updated and changed with the second beta and now it has been changed with the third beta as well so previously on the second beta it had like a purple shade right here at the bottom now it's all blue and in my opinion this this looks actually much much better and when you go to your settings app on iOS 26 beta 3 and you head on to the battery section, if you scroll all the way down here and you go to view all battery usage, if you scroll down again, you will see a section for other battery usage and it will show you other things that are using the battery of your iPhone other than the apps. Of course, you will have the list of apps right there. And then if you go into one of these sections, it will basically give you detailed information about what is using your battery and of course, how much power it's using. In this case, I have the always on display and the home and lock screen. They show here and you can go to each of them and see the detailed information regarding what it whatever is actually using your battery. 
on the lock screen of your iOS 26 beta 3 device. When you go to the passcode section, now you will notice it will actually dim the wallpaper in the background. Now you will have the same liquid glass design here on the buttons, but now it does dim the background of, of course, the buttons, the wallpaper in this case, and it's much clearer for you to view the numbers, of course, in the letters as well that are on the passcode pad. And now when you go to your lock screen and you want to customize the clock, you know, we have the glass and the solid here. So two different options. The solid now actually works. Now, previously you could set this, but once you would have set it, tap the dump button, it will just revert back to the glass design. Now, if you want to use the solid option, you can actually do that and it works properly. There is also a new pop-up that you will see on the phone app. When you enter the phone app for the first time on this beta, it will show you this pop-up talking about the scre screen unknown calls, basically letting you know what it does and how this feature works. Now, if you don't have it enabled on your device, you will see it like this, and you will be able to also tap right here. It will take you to the settings app where you can actually go ahead and enable this feature for your device. Now another thing you will see on the third beta of iOS 26 is this new splash screen for the stocks app. So once you enter the stocks app for the first time, you will see the splash screen, of course, welcoming you back into the stocks app and giving you information regarding the new updates that Apple has made to this app. And this is new right here as well. This one is of course for CarPlay. Now you can actually customize your icons on CarPlay. So directly from your car, you can go ahead and choose between like different customization options for your icons. You will have the default, the dark, and then the clear mode as well, but you will also be able to set the automatic mode as well. So these are some of the new features and changes that we have been able to discover on the third beta of iOS 26. Now this is of course quite a good update. Again, it turns down the liquid glass design quite a lot, which a lot of people hate it, but we have to see and wait what Apple will actually do until this update is ready to go out to the public. Of course, with an all new design, there will be a lot of adjustments that Apple will do through the summer, through the, all of these beta stages. So again, this is it for this one. It's quite a good update, even though the heating problem seems to actually not have been fixed yet, but hopefully it will do better with the next betas and the next beta should come probably on the 21st or the 22nd of July, where again, still on a two week schedule, probably will be like that until beta five or six. And then from then on, we will move to a weekly schedule where we get a lot of more betas with a lot more fixes, but of course, a fewer new features and changes. So that is it. This is the third beta of iOS 26. Of course, a lot of users will see it as a downgrade as Apple has removed a lot of the liquid glass design elements on the UI. But of course, there will be a ton of new changes during the summer. So we'll have to wait and see what actually will be the final release of this update. Again, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.